okay guys it's twist of faith welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you all will be notified when i drop the next update on twist of fate stay tuned on to this episode ria shocks Pratchett, saying very soon Pratchett would get the good news of rambi and her child they would be becoming parents soon and taunt that Prachi can't copy her now and makes Prachi angry. She asks her to leave the house before they return, else Palavi would throw her out soon. Prachi tells that she has no interest in Rambi. Rhea jokes on her and tells that Prachi has no talent to become someone's wife. She will do whatever Prage has taught her. Prachi asks her to limit her nonsense and warns her against saying a word against her mom, Prage. She feels Rhea has turned crazy in her joy, Rambi, and her night won't be special. She swears that she won't let Rhea have her first night with Rambi. Rhea asks her to try it and lose. Prachi challenges Rhea. Rhea tells that she would be her slave if she loses. Prachi wants to see Rhea's upset face. Rhea accepts her challenge and tells that Rambi will father her child soon. Prachi doesn't think this would happen. Palavi and Aliya are unhappy for Rhea. They both love Leah and want Rhea to stay happy with Rambi. Palavi tells that she invited her friends for the tea party. Alia feels Rhea will be happy now. Palavi tells that Rambi was drunk and fell asleep in Prachi's lap. The reality is that he is with Rhea. He has seen Prachi's real colors and will forget her. Alia tells that Rambi would give her a grandchild soon. They await the good news. Rhea tells that Prachi would not have any support from anyone, that Pallavi also doesn't regard Prachi her bahu. Rhea tells that Pallavi and her relation is of a heart, and even Rambi has such hearty bond with her. They just love her. Prachi tells that Pallavi and Rambi like Rhea because they dislike her. Rhea calls it a good reason. Prachi tells that it's the right reason. Rhea can never have a competition with her and insult Rhea. Rhea calls it enough and tells that Rambi and she will be together on that first night and Prachi will be an orphan, having no relation of her own. She asks Prachi to enjoy until she comes back and advises that Prachi can stay on the roads because even Sushma isn't going to shelter Prachi now. She tells that she can help her with a good suggestion. Prachi and Shahana can get a shelter in the police station lockup. Prachi gets much upset with the thought of losing Rambi and feels restless in her room. She goes to Dida's room to meet her. Dida hugs her and tells her Rambi will realize his mistake and come back without having her honeymoon. Prachi tells that she would not let Rambi enjoy his trip. Dida asks why Shahana lied then that Prachi won't stop Rambi from going out. Prachi tells that she had decided not to stop Rambi and Rhea. But Rhea had angrily provoked her and now she has challenged Rhea that Rambi and she won't be celebrating their honeymoon. Dida asked what she would do. Prachi tells that she would plan something and adds that she is doing this to defeat Rhea and win the challenge, not because of her feelings for Rambi. She gets the hotel address and goes. Dida and Shahana get to realize that Prachi told about her love. They know that lovers are liars. Rambi and Prachi love each other but won't confess their love. Prachi comes back and finds them laughing at her love denial. She tells that she would make the plan without any team. Shana and Dida ask Prachi not to lie to them and accept that she loves Rambi. Prachi tells that she doesn't love Rambi. She is doing this just to win the challenge. Dida asks her to hurry up. Prachi misses Rambi and cries. Rambi thinks of her hurtful words and decides to go away from Prachi so that she can stay happy. Prachi doesn't want him to go away and tells that she won't let Rhea take him away. Rhea wants to take Rambi away from Prachi so that they unite forever. Rambi wants to show Prachi that he has moved on and thinks if he has hurried up with the honeymoon plans and realizes that it might have made that he might have made a mistake. He meets Prachi who ran into him and falls in his arms. They get into a moment. She refuses to take his help. He tells that he doesn't want to help her. Her nuptial chain gets stuck in his coat. He helps her and lets her go away and thinks he has to move on, but his heart is stopping him. 
She doesn't want to forget what he did to her and tells herself that Rambi means nothing to her. Pallavi wishes good luck to Rambi and Rhea and blesses them to stay happy. Alia also gives her best wishes. Dida shows her unhappiness to Rambi. Vikram asks Dida to stay happy and let Rambi and Prachi sort their issues. He is hopeful that everything would get fine. Rhea tells that she is very happy because she is going with Rambi. Pallavi and Alia give their tips to Rhea. Rhea looks for Prachi and wonders what Prachi is up to. Dida taunts Rhea to spoil her mood. Rhea goes to check Prachi's room by making an excuse and thinks it's better that Prachi has gone away before she could see them leaving for honeymoon. And she is glad that her enemy left the battleground. She is still mentally prepared to face Prachi. Prachi gets to Rhea Rhea's words. Pallavi asks Vikram to see Rambi and Rhea off. Vikram tells that he has to make an important call. Rhea tells Alia that she had gone to check Prachi, who isn't anywhere. Alia can't believe this. They laugh that Prachi had left the house when she got defeated. They see Prachi in front of them. The sight causes a new worry for Rhea. Thank you guys for watching today's update on Twist of Fate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.